Though the body has many parts, when you put them all together, it becomes one. And that's the way it is with the body of Christ. Hi, my name is Keith and this is My Daily Walk. Thank you so much for joining me on My Daily Walk today. And today we are in the book of 1 Corinthians. And what we're going to be talking about today is the body of Christ. And Paul uses the human body as an example. The human body is so intricate and has so many parts. But when they're working properly, they function together as one. So if you think about our human body, we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 78 different organs. There's over 600 muscles. We have over 200 bones in the body. And yet though each one of those is vital and performs its own function, if one of them is hurting or broken or isn't functioning properly, the other ones have to kind of come together to make up for it. And the body doesn't function the way it should. And that's the same as a body of Christ. And Paul talks about that in the book of 1 Corinthians. So I'm gonna read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 14. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we are all baptized into one body, Jews and Greeks, slave and free, and we were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one member, but many. So just as the body has many members, so does the body of Christ. We have, and he'll say this, and if you read all of chapter 12, you'll see that Paul talks about some of the members of the body. And some of those are teachers and apostles and prophets. And, and you know, he points out kind of some of the more obvious members of the body. But I don't think that because he excludes some or most of the roles of the church, that he is saying that they are lesser than. And one of the things that we tend to do in our culture especially, is we put a high emphasis on just a couple members of the body. You will always hear stories of missionaries and, and pastors who preach amazing sermons or that Bible study teacher who, who just, you know, really can, you know, discern and, and uh, speak the Word of God. And those are all valuable parts of the body. They're, they're necessary. They're promoted generally in churches, and they are people that we look up to and admire. But Paul's saying, if you read through this entire chapter, that every member of the body has value and is necessary. And so today I want to think about some of those other roles of the body, not just the pastors and the teachers and, and the missionaries, but you know, the, those who hand out food after the service or or the people who are ushers and and people who just maybe go behind a counter and say hello to people you have encouragers in the body you have prayer warriors in the body you have people who maybe don't even make it to church but they write letters to other people to give them a word of encouragement there are so many people that make up the body of christ but one that I would have to say is my favorite are the nursery workers. In fact, that is one of my favorite places to go when I'm in the church. I served there for a few years and I love the nursery, but now that I have five grandkids of my own, then it's like I have my own little nursery when they're together. And so for me, the nursery workers, they play such a vital role in raising up our little ones for Christ. And so I just, you know, whether you're a nursery worker or a Sunday school teacher for the kids, or you just, you know, make a phone call here and there and encourage a believer, every part matters and everyone has value when it comes to the body of Christ. And I like when we go down a little bit into this chapter, so like in verses 18 through 26, he talks about the different roles of like the eye doesn't say to the foot and the foot doesn't say to the hand that, you know, I'm more valuable or you're less valuable. And so those parts that are less honorable or more honorable, they all are important. As a body, we have to come together. We weep with those who weep and we rejoice with those who are honored. 
And so when Paul talks about the body, he really wants us to know today that it isn't about the pastor. It isn't about the missionaries out in the field. It isn't about the great Sunday school teacher or the programs or the apologists. It's about each individual coming together and doing their role that God has called them to do. Sometimes that role may be mowing a lady's lawn, an orphan's or a widow's lawn. Sometimes that role may be cooking meals for a mom who just had a baby. Sometimes that role is just writing a letter to the pastor and saying, thank you for that sermon. Whatever it is that God has put on your heart and has made you that part of the body, do it to its fullest. Because every part of the Christian body, of the church, of the body of Christ, is valued, is important, and is necessary. So that's my encouragement today, is do whatever God has called you to do, whatever body part that is. There's days I feel like I'm a pinky. And, you know, I don't know why, but I'm just part of the hand, doesn't really get much honor, don't even put a ring on it for the most part, but I just feel like maybe I'm just the pinky or the big toe or who knows what, but anyway, so you get my point. Everyone's valuable, everyone's honored. And so today, if you need help identifying maybe what your role could be in the church, I, I encourage you, get in touch with us. We would love to connect with you. We can help walk you through some of that, pray with you, encourage you, and just see what God would have for you in the body of Christ. And if you need to pray and seek the Lord and say, Lord, what role can I play? Just start with something. Start with your gifts. What has God given you as a talent and an ability that you can use for His glory? And that's really kind of where I'm at in my life is, you know, how can I help people? I tend to be a helps guy. How can I help people? How can I encourage people? And so I encourage you in that way too. Just whatever it is that you think the Lord could have you do, step out in faith and do it for His kingdom. May you have a great day as you walk daily in Christ, and may God bless you richly.